I caught up with Hank at his beautiful offices here in Manhattan, and he was actually on his way down to Washington, D.C. last night, where he was going to dinner to have some very senior talks about trade with China. So, of course, we spoke at length about the reforms he would like to see in China. And as you know, there are very few American executives who really do have the ear of the Chinese leadership yes. the way Hank Greenberg did. So let's take a listen to Hank in his own words about how he would like to see the Chinese economy reform. China's got to become more of a consumer market, not an export market. Uh, so how do you do that? They have all kinds of plans. They want to move in the next decade, about 600 million people from the countryside to the cities. What cities? You have to build new cities. Uh, that's going to take place over 10 or, or more years. And you got to create jobs for them. So they'll create some free trade zones to attract foreign investment. And these are dramatic changes you're talking about. As yeah. you say, 600 million people moving into urban environments. That's a lot of social impact. Do the leaders you speak to express any concern that they might not have the political support to enact all these changes or that we're going to see social unrest in China? Look, a social unrest is the one thing that China worries about more than anything. Social stability. Worries about more than anything else. Yeah, social stability is the, the highest priority. And you know, Betty, one thing I think is particularly interesting about this is that Hank told me the goal of his current trip to China is to try to get one of these insurance companies that he owns there that is currently an SOE, a state-owned enterprise, turned into a non-SOE. So I think that's an interesting mm -hmm. sign of really how these trade liberalization talks really are in flux just right now. So what does he say about all the impacts here in the U.S.? Well, basically he says the U.S. is the only game in town. He acknowledged that China is slowing. And what was particularly interesting was that I spoke to him last about two weeks ago and at that time that was when we were really seeing a big run up in interest rates and he said that was a mistake he said actually he thinks we're going to see low interest rates for a long time to come and the basic reason is it because he thinks the u.s recovery is still soft one reason though he's bullish on the u.s is because of return of manufacturing jobs mm -hmm. i said the perfect example was the report our colleague carol master right, did yesterday lenovo. about yeah. lenovo manufacturing computers in america